Hi, I'm Sheila Kitterup, the Senior Women's Protection Advisor for the United Nations Mission in South Sudan. June 19 marks the International Day for the Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict. On this day, we recognize the resilience of the women, girls, men and boys who have been subjected to the brutality of conflict-related sexual violence and the significant harm caused to them. Sadly, many have lost their lives to this crime. Conflict-related sexual violence continues to be a problem which is pervasive around the world. Here in South Sudan, the world's youngest nation, insecurity and violence affect women and girls disproportionately. I hear firsthand from survivors of the suffering they have endured and continue to endure due to the prevailing stigma, lack of accountability, limited access to justice and reparations. There is also a massive gap in healthcare and psychosocial support available for them. They deserve all the help and support we can marshal. At UNMIS, we prioritize the prevention of conflict-related sexual violence. Holding perpetrators accountable is a critical part of our proactive efforts to protect civilians, as is helping to create support structures for survivors to recover and rebuild their lives. We are doing everything we can to help ensure the protection needs of survivors are met, their voices are heard, and their concerns addressed. We continue to build the capacity of the police, armed forces, political leaders, judges, community, and traditional chiefs, as well as civil society. The aim is to ensure that the rights of survivors are respected, protected. We can work together to eliminate conflict-related sexual violence. Above all, we prioritize an approach where survivors are at the heart of our response. We advocate for policies and laws that address underlying causes and drivers of sexual violence like gender-based discrimination, inequality, exclusion, and the stigmatization of victims. Everyone has a part to play within families, communities, and South Sudan's larger political and security landscape to ensure that sexual violence is no longer used as a weapon of war. Please join us today and beyond. Let's stand together to end sexual violence in conflict.